Hi guys, I'm going to show you a dish that for all you young guys out there, how to win onto that girl. That girl, that special girl that on a, you've just pictured the scene, you've, pictured, you've gone out Saturday night, you've won onto the best, nicest looking girl, the one that you're happy to introduce to your mother, the one that could be the mother of your, happy to be the mother of your children. What are you going to do? You're going to say, honey, um, let's go and get a greasy kebab or worse still, uh, a McDonald's uh, with super fried chips? Nah, you're gonna say, honey, come on home and I'll whip you up a plate of spaghetti with garlic and chili. You'll love it. So she's gonna like that. You know, she's gonna see the metrosexual in, in you. You know, so so you take her home and I've prepared all of these three ingredients. As you can see, the garlic, the chili, and some spaghetti. Now. You gotta have a bit of humour. Girls love a bit of humour, so let's instead of just getting the knife and opening this up, why don't you do the macho thing and go? Oh, look at that! We both put that up, and you just put that in the water, and you just wait for the water to boil. You've got a bit of oil in the uh, in the pan here. Now you just time it. The the the, the, uh, the spaghetti's gonna take about ten minutes, so you don't want to overcook the oil. So while you're waiting, maybe a glass of wine, just to Mm. You could perhaps uh, use your pickup line, see how they go. Honey, if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Or, honey, if I said your body was dynamite, would you press charges? She'll love that, she'll love the humour, you know? As long as you don't overdo it. Uh, they like the self-deprecating humour, these girls. You know, it's not all about good looks. I mean, I didn't get onto my wife just with my looks, so, hey. Your girl could be one of those girls that loves the romantic Italian language. So instead of saying garlic and chili and spaghetti, you could say, honey, it's three Italian words you've got to learn. Garlic is aglio, aglio. Chili is pepperoncini. And spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> so instead of saying spaghetti with garlic and chili, you could say, honey, I'll cook you some spaghetti con aglio e pepperoncini. Let that R roll, pepperoncini. She'll love that, she'll love that. She'll, you're gonna win on handsomely. As you can see, I've, I've dressed in the mood, you know, sort of uh, to, get, to get into that Italian mood. And uh, what you could do is you could involve your girlfriend or your, your girl that you picked up into, we've got to test the spaghetti for al dente. That means you put it between your teeth. Mmm, just not too soft, not too hard, just right. You could let her taste it, you know what I mean? And that, that'll involve her. She'll like that. Voila! Just there's a lovely spaghettini, as I said. And, um, oh yeah, okay, the oil and the garlic is just, we just gotta get it, uh, we'll just get the temperature up because we wanna sizzle it over the thing. But maybe a little bit of pepper. Pepper, that'll give it a thing. Maybe a bit of salt. Not too much, it's not good for the heart that my doctor said, but you know, a little bit of flavour. And there, look at that flavour, the split. Oh, that's, that, that's come on beautifully now. So, here we go. We're gonna just sizzle it over the... Oh, look at that, look at that. Just a bit of red. And here we go. We're just gonna toss it quickly while the oil is still hot. Look at that, very simple, very nice. Simplicity is the secret to Italian food. You know, you don't want to like you don't want to see pizza with pineapple. That's just a no-no. You know, look at that. Just beautiful. The oil is just sealed over. Any help alcohol you got in your body from that night will be, the oil will be very good for that. And here we are. We just plate it up. That's the, and just a little bit of presentation. There you go. And. There you go. Pull it over a bit. Let's do a, a Huey and present. Well, here you are. And, uh, voila. And really to really finish it off, a little bit of green, you know, the green part of the flag. Just a little garnish. There you go. And the spaghetti, that could be for tomorrow morning if she stays. <laughs> we could have it for breakfast. There you go. Now that's simple. Which girl would not love you if you could whip up one of these like that? Let me, I'll um, 
Just mail me some responses if you do a successful voice. Let me know. Thank you.